welcome to the YouTube channel. So today I am here to explore Kotaligat Fort. Today we are at Ambivali village. So to reach Ambivali village you have to board a bus from Karje station and they will drop you to the Ambivali village and from here uh, the track divides into two parts. The base village for Kotaligad is Pet village and Ambivali village to Pet uh, there is a walking. So this is a walking trail and it would take one hour to reach there. This is the, at the top of the fort it would take another hour. So uh, let's see what my group space pace is and uh, let's explore the fort earlier they didn't allow us uh, to trek here the police officer said uh, we are not allowed to trek because of section 144 but later we visited uh, ambivali caves and later we got a call from the local village stating that uh, the police officers has allowed us and now we are heading towards kotaligat fort so these are the instructions and there's the fees for trek 50 per head so here's a waterfall and this is a small path so this is a trail and you can go uh, till there where you can enjoy the waterfall but it's quite risky here. If you have a four wheeler or I guess uh, like off road car, off road bike, then you can easily cover this uh, trail till Pet. I will take uh, so now we have reached this pain plateau. Uh, this is Kotaligat Fort, and right now it's covered with fog. This is the trail. Everyone here is clicking pictures. So this is a plain plateau. So now you can have a clear vision of Kotaligat Fort and down you can see the series of waterfalls. Here is a small glimpse of a reverse waterfall. You can see the waterfall and the water is flying back. Uh, so we are about to reach Pet village and it's sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes I'm covered with fog. So it would easily take an hour to reach up there and I've heard it's too crowdy. So let's see. So finally we have reached the Pet village, this is the village and where villagers can park their bikes, I, as I said if your bike is an off-road bike you can come and park here, so you can see the fort. Here there is a paddy field. And further, uh, the rocks have been laid over, so they are forming a proper rock layer. You can see here the rocks have been layered properly and they are building this proper track. So you can see a proper village here. Okay. 
we just have to cover this cliff behind me you can see the waterfalls and as i said it's too crowdy i'll show you the crowd There are two cannons. Earlier there was only one. Later the villagers arranged one more. Then this is Kotali Ghat. And uh, there's a huge traffic. It's too crowdy. Group la yehla time lagega. Apun maage puras raha. Chala. Chala. So this is the speciality of our Kotaligarh fort. You can see steps which are from inside, unlike a Haryar fort and Goraghar. So the view from here Everyone is waiting now to come up We are at the top of Kotali Ghat and it took us more than uh, 3 hours We were walking very slow and uh, there is a huge crowd here today on Sunday so that was one more reason On top of Kotali Ghat nothing much to see Uh, so we are on the top of uh, Kotali Ghat and in front of me you can see a whole mountain range and you can see so many waterfalls here and it's a majestic view you can see these waterfalls and with, with such breeze it's an awesome experience So there's not much of a history related to this fort. So uh, all the carvings made here in were back in uh, 13th century. In 1684, uh, Aurangzeb sent two persons to capture this fort from Mara. It was a huge fight uh, for almost uh, two days, uh, two to three days. And Abdul Qadir was successful in capturing this fort, and Aurangzeb also rewarded him. Later, Aurangzeb named this uh, fort as Miftaul Fateh which means key to success. Uh, Marathas made many attempts to capture this fort, but they were not successful. Marathas recaptured this fort. Uh, it was under the leadership of Kapura, who was the general of Raja of Pesha. Uh, so there's not much of a history regarding this fort. And uh, this fort, this is 
actually not a fort. It was used as a watchtower. We we'll just call it as a lighthouse. Uh, but it was usually used as a watchtower, and the Marathas used to keep their ammunition here. So this was the ammunition depot for Marathas for our Maulas. We will start descending down. almost 40 minutes to descend down to get down through that uh, stair part uh, almost 150 to 200 people are up there so it's too crowdy now we are visiting Ambivali caves which is near to uh, Kotaligat fort only That's it from the Kotaliga trek. I am at the base village, at the Ambivali village where we, we have parked our bus. So, this is the Ambivali village. So, it was a tiring journey. We actually got late due to uh, the police officers were not allowing us to trek at the start. Uh, then, we started our trek at 11. We reached up at 2. And now it's 6. We are at the base and now we are heading towards Mumbai. That's it from Kotaligad vlog. I will end my vlog. See you all soon in a new video on a new day. Till then, goodbye. Take care.